Good morning. It's so nice to see all of you here this morning. And I'd like to welcome all of you to Gallaudet University. My name is Fred Wiener. I'm the Assistant Vice President for Administration. I'm also the CEO of the Gallaudet University Foundation. This is a wonderful day for Gallaudet University, for Pigmental, Pigmental Studios, and for Washington, D.C. This is a very exciting time. Pigmental Studios is opening up their new headquarters on Gallaudet's campus. I have to, if you haven't noticed, this is a university of deaf and hard of hearing people, mostly, and a lot of us don't actually hear the applause. So our way of applauding is to raise our hands. Let's try that again. Great. Very good. That was beautiful. For those of you who are not familiar with Pigmentel Studios, their talent and their talented team produce animation and animated program for films, TV, games, and the web. Their studio is going to be in our Appleby building on the corner of 6th Street and Florida Avenue. The future site for the university will become a large grand pedestrian gateway. There you go, great. You're getting the hang of it. Okay, one more time. Let's see it. Excellent. Very good. Also, this will be the center of our innovation hub, which um, is very exciting. Now, this collaboration comes at a very pivotal time in Gallaudet's history. The university is currently partnering with the JBG companies for development of our six street parcels and for a total of seven acres, both on campus and off campus. Now our goal is to give the unique nature of our institution to create something unique and distinct a destination place in D.C. for residents and visitors. Our campus community already has um, have a huge impact, a culture impact in this neighborhood as well. We've been here for 150 years. Now throughout the development process, we're going to start at the corner of 6th Street and Florida Avenue. And our goal is to create a very creative and inclusive and bilingual community that currently doesn't exist in Washington, D.C., or anywhere in the world, for that matter. It's going to be a truly unique experience for everyone. Pigmental Studios move here to our campus is a very important step in that endeavor. We are thrilled to be partnering with Pigmental and their team, including the CEO, Marina Martins, and DC. We're very grateful to the mayor, Muriel Bowser, for your support and your vision of leveraging DC as a hub for innovation and creativity. So we're all working collaboratively, and we're all on the same page with the idea of making this neighborhood a culturally epicenter. And with that, I'd like to introduce to you our provost, Dr. Carol Erding. Thank you, Fred. Thank you very much. And good morning to everyone. On behalf of Gallaudet University, I want to share with you how thrilled we are about this partnership. As Fred has just mentioned, this partnership represents a very important step towards a goal of creating a unique 
and bilingual community here in D.C. It's truly an innovative cluster. Being engaged, of course, with our educational mission here as a university, this ties in very nicely. Our current and future students will have opportunities. They'll have opportunities to learn from professional teams, our current academic programs, including arts, communication, theater, information technology, and many, many others, ASL and Deaf Studies included, will have a unique opportunity to partner with Pigmental with the goal of enhancing our existing programs and developing new innovative curricula. Just to give you one example, a digital media program might be on the books at some point in time. This dynamic partnership will have an immediate impact on our campus. And plans are already underway for the Pigmental team to offer courses for our students, to provide internship opportunities for our students during this next upcoming academic year. Our students will be developing innovative skills through hands-on experiences. Of course, we know this will help them get jobs in this very exciting field. The Pigmental team will experience as well a stimulating and creative environment as our students bring with them their unique perspectives and also being that they are so much oriented towards a visual communication. Students come to Gallaudet to experience what we call the Gallaudet Advantage. Our university community provides students with a number of different experiences, experiences that they can get nowhere else in the world. As students, they will first connect. And when I say connect, I'm talking about connecting with one another, connecting with their faculty, as well as connecting with alumni of the university, here and abroad, as they make contributions to society. They'll connect to our community here in the D.C. area and also connect with this new opportunity that we are now creating between Gallaudet, Pigmental, and D.C. Not only will they connect, students will also discover. Students will come to discover who they are. They'll discover what it is they can do with knowledge. They'll come to discover their skills as they further develop them with curiosity, dedication, and motivation. They will discover their own unique talents and passions. And along with that, they'll discover opportunities and opportunities they've never considered before. They'll also discover their creative leadership potential. And thirdly, our students will also influence. They'll influence the university community. They'll influence the deaf community, both local, national, and international deaf communities. They'll influence the local neighborhood <coughs> here in Northeast DC. And they'll influence the greater city of DC and surrounding communities. Their influence will spread throughout the nation. The unique students bring a very unique perspective and a unique knowledge of living as visual people. And they'll bring these unique experiences to what we call the deaf gain. These are essential components of successful innovation, connection, discovery, and influence. With Pigmental Studios, we have a partnership. We've discovered this partnership and recognized the potential for deaf gain opportunities. Not only that, but we'll be able to see how deaf people can bring their own innovations and Pigmento can share their innovations with our deaf community. This is a very pivotal time in our history. In our 151st year of existence at Gallaudet University, we are all very excited about the upcoming changes. These changes will impact us and our neighborhood, and we look forward to participating in the changes that will be coming with this partnership being formed with Pigmental Studios, Washington, D.C., and Gallaudet University. 
this partnership is important, and it's an important first step towards the goal that we're all very much looking forward to. Thank you very much, and with this, I would like to introduce Robin Mosley. Robin comes from JBG. She's the Executive Vice President. Thank you, Carol. And welcome to Gallaudet. That's all that I'm going to do today. <laughs> On behalf of the JBG companies, we are proud to be here today to see this exciting new opportunity realized. It was exactly two years ago today that JBG began its creative process to imagine a vision for this impressive real estate opportunity and compelling, and even more importantly, a great geographic location in our city and an exciting opportunity to work with a world-class university. And while those two criteria, which encouraged us and motivated us to craft a compelling and competitive vision for this area, as we learned more about the unique culture at Gallaudet, the extraordinary population, we began to have even loftier goals. Throughout the RFP process, we spent countless hours learning about the deaf culture and the exceptional objectives Fred Wiener, Sam Swiller, and Hansel Bauman set out to achieve through their development mission. At the same time, JBG has been expanding its efforts to better understand the creation of place. What role does real estate development play in encouraging a better community experience? How does the creation of place improve the quality of life in the neighborhoods in which we do our business? So as we learned more about the students and the faculty and the administration through focus groups and information forums, we began to understand three important principles by which we will measure our success. Have we facilitated the opening physically through design and culturally through tenanting and programming of the real and perceived barriers which are in place today? Does the outside world feel welcome and appreciate the remarkable opportunity and culture of the deaf community and the university? And does the deaf community feel welcome and have a sense of ownership in the new community we have created? My role on the development team is to create place through merchandising, public realm design, branding, wayfinding, programming and operations. And I began to think of tenants who wear their values on their sleeves, whose brands are all about doing good things, sustainability, diversity, job creation. There are so many tenants we will approach to join us in this truly unique opportunity. There is no other community like this with this cultural specialty. Well, it turns out that one way of thinking about designing an environment in which deaf people will feel safe enough to expand their horizons is to think about designing an environment in which the visual experience is enhanced. Thanks to Hansel's inspiration, suddenly the creation of place becomes more like theater and set design where every detail is an opportunity to create magic. So here's the segue to today. As we were pondering this design and co-tenancy, and I was marinating thoughts about who would be good partners, maybe Tom Shoes, maybe Under Armour, trying to be open to a creative process, wanting to come up with a partner who would be curious and who would find this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity as exhilarating as I do. And then a mutual friend introduced me to Marina Martins this spirited woman who has a gigantic dream. Our friend simply said, I'm not sure what you will do together, if anything, but I know you two need to meet. And over a glass of wine, I shared my Gallaudet story with Marina. Marina is a true world-focused entertainment professional. Her media work spans a unique slate of international productions, from directing a documentary at the height of Mount Everest to co-productions in South Korea and China and Malaysia. Marina will tell you more about herself and her vision for this opportunity. I want to just say, as I have the honor of introducing her, that our wonderful city has the world's greatest institution of learning for the deaf community. 
And now, thanks to the great leadership of Mayor Bowser and her team, we begin to plant the seeds for a world-class creative institution. Marina and her team will open the door to a universe of jobs, opportunities, and training, all of which is about speaking with pictures, using enhanced visualization to tell stories, and what better place to do this than at the world's headquarter for the deaf community, all of whom have enhanced visual senses. So at the end of the day, all we really did was create a match. We're matchmakers. And I am proud and overjoyed, truly, to present Marina Martins. Hi. Wow. It's hard to go second, third, or fourth because you've got to kind of try to match up and it's not that easy. But when I was asked uh, about a year ago to consider bringing pigmental to the city, I actually confess that I didn't take it very seriously. Not until I did some real homework, you know, beyond the Wikipedia and I feel lucky, Google search. I did some real honest investigation and it didn't take long to see why Forbes uh, magazine named DC the coolest city in the nation. So I spoke to several of our key members and um, our team members and found to my surprise, actually, that there was a great deal of interest about going to D.C. This was the first crucial step for me, because without artists, there is no art community or an animation company. So when the city administrators jumped in to make it feasible for me to relocate, I signed up, and I made my first ever trip to Washington, D.C., which until then I had only experienced, you know, from a Google uh, street view, and uh, found myself in a place that I had fully committed myself and my team to land in. So, thankfully, with its uh, inspiring architecture, its abundant informational resources, and artists need informational resources, its bold approach to food, my favorite thing, and most importantly, it's generous, truly generous, and immensely engaged people. I found it irresistible, and I was quickly, and still am, 100% in love with the city and its people. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, in fact, um, if there's been an unusual influx of creatives and discerning uh, gourmands, you know, mobbing the city in the last 12 months, it's because I cannot stop singing the praises of this city everywhere I go. Love it. So what I envisioned for DC, based on my own dreams, was a place where independent artists could engage in a supportive and collaborative manner to form a workable community and energize a creative economy. In other words, an artist's haven, the new United Artists, where creative cohabitates with fiscal support and longevity. So I met with Robin of JBG because actually I wanted to scold her for not making a particular JBG building available for me. It was something that I'd set my heart on. Uh, it's something that I'd looked, uh, looked up on, on Google Street View and, and fell in love with this building and went, I want to be here. But, um, but JBG had other plans for this building. Anyway, uh, after patiently listening to me, complaining and sharing my deepest thoughts about why she should let me have this building, she artfully painted a picture of the Gallaudet JBG plan, one that fits so beautifully with what I had envisioned. She spoke about the Gallaudet mission to open up their campus to the DC community and provide opportunity for their students to integrate fully into that community. I was intrigued, still a little noncommittal, because my heart was really set on that building. But it was not until Robin sort of sandbagged me with a meeting uh, of the Gallaudet team visionaries. After an impassioned speech by Provost Carol Irving, which, by the way, left me in tears. 
I realized there was a unique and precious opportunity here, that the Gallaudet students, by the fortunate fact that they communicate so effectively on a visual platform, could teach us so much about visual storytelling. And so the partnership began. Pigmental is focused on providing access to in, uh, animation instruction to students of all ages, all economic strata, and all ethnicities in DC and in any part of the world. Our mission, with the help of Gallaudet students, will be to teach the world the art of animation by teaching without words. And we will learn how from our Gallaudet partners. It's been a long journey to find our space, a journey that was supported by the amazing people in the mayor's office, by Mayor Muriel Bowser, thank you, the Deputy Mayor's Office for Planning and Economic Development, the administration staff, the Director of the Office for Motion Picture and Television Department, Angie Gates, our design team at Gensler, who let me use their swanky offices on K Street while I was looking, CBRE, amazing, they traipsed me all over the city. JBG, of course, my many, many, many amazing consultants, Sarah Kellogg, my friend Pierre Bagley, and of course, the vibrant team here at Gallaudet. I could not have wished for more supportive partners if I had dreamt this up. Partners who nurtured us, who stood by the vision, and contributed to this moment. Washington, D.C., the Union Market neighborhood, the Gallaudet community, this is home, not only for Pigmental, but for the local creative community. This community is galvanized around the idea that D.C. can be everything that we dream of. Not a copy of Hollywood, you know, nobody does Hollywood the way Hollywood does Hollywood but an independent, spirited group of like-minded individuals who engage robustly on a world platform to tell great stories. This is who we are, all of us, all of us here, who strive together to make DC, this new creative hub, all that it can be. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, May I please introduce to you uh, somebody that I, I'm sure you all know, uh, Mayor Muriel Bowser. Thank you so much for being here to uh, support us in this endeavor. Thank you. Well, they say the mayor and I resemble, but she'll be coming up shortly. Thank you, Marina. And I would like to thank Gallaudet University for offering this beautiful, beautiful space. And congratulations on your 150 years. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> this is an exciting moment in the District of Columbia and for the creative economy. I'd like to first thank Mayor Muriel Bowser for joining us here today and for her support and continued commitment to creative economy and creating more STEM and STEAM career opportunities here for the district residents. Thank you, Mayor Bowser. I would also like to acknowledge Deputy Mayor Kenner and his entire DEMPED team for being a pivotal part and playing a pivotal role for bringing Pigmental Studios here. I would like to thank you for that. Also, I would like to acknowledge the former director of the Office of Motion Picture and Television Development, Pierre. Thank you for starting this journey for us, and thank you for being here today. When I first became the director of the Office of Motion Picture and Television Development, I had the pleasure of meeting Marina. And not only was I impressed with her friendliness and uh, her style of dressing, I, was <laughs> I still want this bag that she had that day. But her energy and her vision and her level of commitment to the district was so key. So I want to thank her for being here today and deciding to make Pigmental her new home. 
At the Office of Motion Picture and Television Development, we've been extremely busy. We've recently partnered with BET Networks on securing a 16,000 square foot soundstage, which is like located a few blocks away. We recently re-incentivized the incentive fund and revitalized it. So uh, as of May 15th, you now have an opportunity to apply for film revenue funds that are now available for our local and national film promoters. I like that two hands. <laughs> also, we are in the process of developing a creative economy training and apprenticeship program, and we'll be prepared to get that started in 2016. And we also recently welcomed Shadowstone Lighting Company here to the district as their new home, and they're located in Brentwood. But what we're looking forward to doing is rolling up our sleeves and working closely as partners with Pigmental. So thank you again for, for being here. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here today and taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the visionary and the guiding force before the district's promise that she's committed to build a pathway to the middle class. Let's welcome Mayor Muriel Bowser. Well, good morning, everybody. Now, this is what I call a great day in Washington, D.C. Uh, the district couldn't be more proud uh, to welcome Pigmental Studios to come to our city and establish yourselves here as part of our creative economy. And it is indeed okay, Marina, to call us the Hollywood of the East. <laughs> I, too, would like to thank uh, the wonderful, incredible Gallaudet University for your commitment to Washington, D.C. for over 150 years, for your commitment to the deaf community to make sure that every person can realize his or her potential in our wonderful city and indeed in our nation. Uh, Madam Provost, thank you for your kind words and please share my gratitude uh, with my dear friend, um, Alan Hurwitz, the president of Gallaudet University. It is also an honor to be here with, with many friends. Um, I promised myself if I ever had the opportunity uh, to be the mayor of the District of Columbia that I would never hesitate uh, to acknowledge uh, the contributions of everybody who came before me that helped build the revitalization of the District of Columbia. And there's uh, one such woman here. Uh, she was the mayor of the District of Columbia, Sharon Pratt. Give her a round of applause. I, too, want to acknowledge the former motion picture director, Pierre. It's always good to see you, and thank you for everything that you did to get us to this point. Give Pierre a round of applause. Uh, I recognize that our former Arts and Humanities Commission chair is here, Judith Tara. My friend, give her a big round of applause for, for her uh, work here. Um, I also noticed that Brian Hanlon is here, who was the director of our Department of General Services, and we thank him, too, for his great work. Uh, and we have, over the last four months, really attracted a terrific team to work for us. Uh, we couldn't be more lucky uh, to, to have Brian as our Deputy Mayor, Brian Kenner, for planning and economic development. Anna Harvey, uh, who is leading our Department of Small and Local Businesses. Deborah Carroll, who is leading our Department of Employment Services. Uh, Lisa Richard Tony, who is our Interim Director at the Arts and Humanities Commission. Uh, we thank them very much. Uh, I also want to say that we have a tremendous partnership with the Council of the District of Columbia, uh, and you really have no bigger champion um, for attracting the creative economy, especially as it relates um, to film and, film and television, than at-large council member Vincent Orange. And I know his staff is here, and, and I don't know what's keeping him from being here, but I know he's upset about it because he is excited about this. So let's thank Vincent Orange. Uh, 
you heard from Robin uh, from JBG about a partnership that the city is very excited about. Uh, you know, everybody knows I'm a big fan of Gallaudet and Gallaudet's commitment to this Trinidad neighborhood. Uh, and I'm also very impressed with their vision. Uh, and when they chose JBG to help uh, in the partnership to revitalize the areas around the campus, that's when I knew they were serious and that we are going to have a tremendous development uh, opportunity around Gallaudet University. And so I'm looking forward to JBG and Gallaudet taking the lead in that discussion. And I know Brian is as well, and he is open ears, open arms, so we can do some big things for this, the residents of the District of Columbia. You may know that I recently um, proposed a merger between the Office of Motion Picture Development and our Office of Cable Television uh, to become a new and bigger and stronger and more robust agency, uh, the agency to be named uh, Film, Television, and Entertainment. Um, and I'm pleased to announce that yesterday the council voted for the first time to support that merger. And that's also a good thing for our creative economy. We are in the last days of May. Um, and for some of you, that just may mean that summer is, is here. But for us, it is the capstone of what we have called a month focused on technology in May. Innovation. And in Innovation, we have announced a lot of uh, initiatives that will connect DC residents to jobs and will focus on the jobs of the future. So let me just mention a couple things about Innovation. Uh, together, we launched during this month with Parks and Rec summer coding camps for young people. Sometimes young people don't realize how technology connects to jobs but I bet you Pigmental can tell you that you need some technologi technologically savvy people to work at your studios. We partnered with 1776 on a program to expose high potential underserved high school graduates to career opportunities. We hosted a hackathon with the DC Department of Transportation so we could encourage more civic hackers to help us solve the problems of government. We launched new web-based interactive mapping tools and district innovation zones to help support our creative economy. We hired a director of, the tech, of technology innovation whose job it is to look at every agency of government for technological solutions. So I could not think of a more fitting in to this month-long celebration of innovation than to be right here at Gallaudet, um, be with our new partners in revitalizing this community, JBG and Gallaudet, and now Pigmental. These initiatives show that government can do a lot, but we can do so much more with other creative partners. So I am looking forward to making sure that we are establishing a new corridor uh, between Gallaudet and our soundstage in Ward 5 to focus on how we can attract more of the creative economy to create jobs for DC residents, to put Gallaudet students um, in seats learning about the Hollywood of the East and our opportunities here. Uh, and working forward uh, with all of you on how we develop uh, this beautiful community. So congratulations to all involved. Thank you, Mayor Bowser. And thanks everyone this morning for your wonderful remarks. And thanks everyone for coming out this morning and that wraps up the event. Feel free to stay and mingle with others. We do have some right light refreshments. And thank you again for being here.